Hope you all are doing well. I wanted to talk a little bit. You can't see my board over there, but it said to be effing awesome by June 1st, less than 9%, and then decide on a competition. I'd said last year when I got injured, I, I would revisit that idea. But more importantly, um, I really kicked it up a notch as far as getting lean and staying lean. Last year, my efforts got sidetracked. So I want to talk about your, what your mindset has to be if you're going to die to get ripped. Um, first of all, you can't look at it as a diet. It's got to be ad infinitum. It's got to be a lifestyle. With that said, I've made the mistake of just trying to diet, 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 and run yourself into the ground. Nobody can stick with that. I look back at my first bodybuilding contest, and I was extremely disciplined. 16 weeks without a cheat meal, which was just stupid for the person that was coaching me, but I didn't know better at the time. But if, if you take the approach to getting lean, that you're just going to be doing it to be freaking awesome. That's it. You're not doing it to pick up chicks or any of that stuff. The interchange leads to the outer change. If you're picking a bodybuilding show to get lean, wrong mistake. If you're doing a bodybuilding show because you already are in that lifestyle and you just want to challenge yourself, that's the way you go. So you got to think that you're doing this to be freaking awesome. It's sucks to be average. You're going to be just like everybody else if you remain fat and, and keep trying to trick yourself that you're eating good and you're doing what needs to be done to get lean. Well, it's all bullshit. You got to really man up or woman up, whatever you want to say, and realize if you're living up to the ultimate that you can live up to. Um, and I've also found that you can look at pictures of other people, but really... You need to do it yourself. Being that I competed before, you know, I've got pictures on my desktop now of when I competed. I've already done it. That's much more realistic. I already know what my body's going to look like. I've been there before. I know what it feels like. Um, as far as the diet goes, I haven't figured out the whole calorie equation yet. I've talked about this before. There's more to it than calories, but you also have to monitor them if you're going to get ripped. Um, but you cannot starve yourself day in and day out. So the approach I've been using, kind of like the Rampage diet based off the uh, Chaos and Pain website or, or the Cycle diet, it's all that same type of stuff, UD2 by Lyle McDonald. Four or five days, really low calorie, high protein, low fat, low carb. Friday night, I do a spike meal, which is just grass-fed beef, a couple eggs, and some sweet potato fries that I make. Back to the plan Saturday. Sunday night, three-hour cheat window. Anything and everything goes. As I get leaner, I'll implement more of them. Starting two-a-day workouts a couple times a week, where first workout is really strength-based and, and just heavy shit. Second workout, more bodybuilding-based um, in case, like we said, about that competition. So those are the approaches you got to take. It's got to be an all-out war. Make a deadline. Mine is June 1st. That means i got five weeks to get to where I need to be. I cannot slack off. I've got to be, you know, i got to go hit my second workout in a little bit. Um, you know, everything's got to be on point. And uh, when you set a firm deadline, magical things start to happen. So when, when you're going to diet, start to examine your mindset and where you're at and where you need to be. I'll be writing more about diet as I continue studying it more. As I immerse myself and stuff, you know, that you'll, you'll kind of see that in my writings and whatnot. Um, and I'll let you know anything new that I found out. All right, peace. Diet hard. Get ripped for the summer.